Okay, y'all. <clears throat> it's dark out now. Um, so I just got out of the Priceless Food grocery store where Candace shops. And I went in and uh, spoke to three of the workers. Uh, they were all on the younger side, um, all under three months of employment there. So that wasn't very helpful. <clears throat> and um, so I, I was looking around and there was a woman over in the produce section who had scrubs on. So I decided that I was going to go over and talk to her and see if she knew anything of Summer's disappearance. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, she was probably in her early 40s and actually turned out to be a home health care worker in the Beach Creek, Ben Hill area. And she says that whenever she tells someone where she works, they're like, oh my gosh, that's a bad area. You better be careful. And so we, we had a nice long conversation. I learned about her family and, and different things just uh, in conversation. And I'm not going to share that since she works in that area. Very nice lady, though. Um, so I asked her if she knew who Summer Wells was, and she goes, oh, yeah, I do. And I asked her if she knew where <coughs> Dawn and Candace lived. She goes, yep, yeah, sure do. And um, I asked her um, what her thoughts was on her disappearance. And she said that she felt like the, the parents got into something that they couldn't get out of and that they had either traded her or sold her. I hate hearing that. Um, and I've heard it a lot today. Um, I asked her if she knew where they lived and she goes, oh yeah, I know where they live. And I asked her what her thoughts was on someone coming onto the property and abducting her. And she didn't feel like that that was possible with the, the terrain around their house. Um, so we talked a little more and um, I thanked her for her time. And, um, and so I'm fixing to figure out where I am and try to find my way home. Um, so I'll talk to y'all later.